Hi friends, today um, I have another story time on the homestead for you. Um, this is our, our rabbit, um, her name's Brownie, and she's probably one of the, she's going to be hopping back and forth on the table during this video. Um, she's probably one of our prettiest does, she's kind of a calico color, she's a mix of a New Zealand and Rex uh, rabbit. Um, and I'm going to talk about some things that have happened on the homestead with our rabbits today. Um, when we first got rabbits, we got them from a couple places. We got three from a farmer, the local farmer's market and here, come here. And, um, we got like way more, <laughs> way more bunnies from some homesteading friends that were moving out of state. And we learned some hard lessons right away. One of the moms um, miscarried. She had some babies, I think, too soon when we moved them. And she didn't, she didn't take care of them or try to, you know, I think they were just too young. And um, so she never had them in the nesting box. And um, yeah, you're kind of scared. I'd be scared too with those cats perusing around. Come, on, come over by me. Um, and oh, there you go. And then, um, so then we lost some babies as well to the disease, what we believe was coccidiosis. And so they have, the rabbits have been a real learning experience. Um, we also, we, we've not lost any to predators. That's the surprising thing I feel like because we don't have our rabbits housed in a building right now and they are, um, you know, they're in cages that we thought were built really quite well, um, overall, but we, we built one too that wasn't, um, quite as good a shape just because of the the material we used was a cheaper material and so we had some problems with that cage which um, leads me to talk about one of our farmers market bunnies um, that got named Cherry. She's a white bunny um, with the pink eyes and um, come over here they probably can't see you come over here um, <laughs> she doesn't want to come over here um, but uh, we need oh, well one of my kids named her Cherry, and she has actually wrecked the cheaper cage that we built, or one of the, I think, did you build both of them, or just one cage? It wrecked one of the, one of the cages, there were two cheap ones, and she actually, we wired the door shut, and so it was like a little bit of a pain to open up the, the doors on the, the, uh, the big door, and so, but it was what we had to do. Cherry kept getting out. She, we would all of a sudden be walking outside, you know, doing whatever. And all of a sudden we see this white bunny hopping around. And so she's gotten out uh, probably at least a half a dozen times. And uh, she started to be to the point where she's like um, wrecking actually the cage. And so we actually moved her just a few days ago into uh one of the other cages just traded the bunnies because she's such a houdini she is the the one that i'm like she she could be <laughs> butchered first because she's she like i wear leather gloves usually when i'm feeding them because i'm i don't, I don't want to get bit on my hand if i don't have to and she bites the leather glove often i don't know if it's because of the leather glove but none of the other rab rabbits are aggressive at all they're they're really friendly and uh if you hear some noises in the background the two kittens are playing <laughs> the trees um whoops i kicked the table and it uh made the camera move but um so yeah we have cherry she's a little bit she's a little bit crazy and then um i don't want to forget a story so i wrote them down over here so if i'm looking um we also built some runs because the cages are so big and we wanted the rabbits to be able to graze some and we built some runs for them but some of the runs weren't very tall about three foot three foot tall and some of the chick it was built out of chicken wire fence and so some of it wasn't 
as structurally structurally sound as it should have been and one day um one of our teenage rabbits got out of the run and it was just like gone i was like okay well i guess we learned our lesson with that and um sure enough though my husband and my oldest daughter were out doing some chores i can't remember and they were shining their headlamp around and they saw little beady eyes and a puff ball of white it was a white rabbit not all of our rabbits are white but um oh man i wish you guys could see this i don't if i move her she's gonna quit cleaning herself <laughs> she looks so cute let me see if i can get her you can see her okay she's cleaning herself they're so cute when they clean themselves so anyhow yeah so we uh, they found the little teenage rabbit and i don't remember we did lose a couple teenage rabbits at one point and i don't know if that's one of the ones we lost to the coccidiosis the the, the disease usually takes younger animals they're just not their <laughs> gut system or whatever is not built um to withstand that that parasite but um let's see um Yes, you like that, don't you? So her siblings actually, she had um, she had a lot of siblings that passed away. She's the last of her litter, but um, she's been our um, pet bunny in the house just so she would make it because um, the chickens were too close to the um, to the rabbit area, and so I think they would just spread it back and forth to the, each other, the young ones. Um, but, uh, one day I go out to take care of the, the rabbits in the morning, like I always do, and, um, I just, you know, I'm not very awake in the morning when I go out. I, I sometimes have my coffee, but sometimes I don't, like, before I go outside, but sometimes I don't drink my coffee, and I just straight out go outside to do the chores, and I, I was getting the grain, I turn around, now the corner of my eye behind their cages in the woods I see something orange well our young cats are orange as well so I was like okay what are they doing over there I like to watch the kittens in the morning they like to play and and um <laughs> I was like oh no that's not a kitten it was our bunny uh butterscotch that was um one of our our, our does was out she got out She's only gotten out once and we tightened up everything I think after she had gotten out um, and yeah she was easy to catch they they are for the most part they're pretty tame our rabbits are um, cherry does like to try to hide and escape under like you know a bush or whatever just you know she knows now that we're gonna try to catch her and then um, yeah, so I'm just, I was kind of shocked that we haven't had anything with the experiences of having so many rabbits escape our cages or the run. I'm surprised that none of them have gotten eaten by something. But um, maybe Butterscotch just got out in the morning before I came out to do chores. I don't know. And then, um, let's see, I do have the... The last of my stories, I think, for bunny time here today, <laughs> story time on the homestead, is um, her, she had a sibling that was a beautiful white color um, with some uh, black markings, I believe, on the face. And I do not know what happened. I It's either I was neglectful and not paying attention when I did the morning chores and the baby bunny got out when I was putting the feed in and the the greens in that or um she squeezed out of the cage we ended up tightening everything after this little little bunny um this little bunny got um out in some regard I don't know how and so I was outside we were trying to deal with chicken problems around that time when our chickens had coccidiosis and um then uh all of a sudden we see one of our kittens running with our little white bunny in its mouth. I was like, no, like, oh my, it was just crazy chaos. And 
um, I was thankful. My oldest daughter was outside and my oldest son and my oldest daughter, I believe, grabbed. It was kind of chaotic, so I don't even remember. I was there, but she was able to grab it and we got the, um, the baby bunny out of uh, the kitten's mouth, but it was bleeding on the neck. And I, I, I contemplated, you know, what, what we should do if we should just, you know, um, you know, put it at peace, you know, and, but my daughter, my oldest daughter, she's pretty attached to the bunnies. And so I was like, well, if it's not like oozing blood, maybe we can fix it. We got a lot of, um, first aid items. And so that's what we did. She fixed it up and the bleeding stopped really quite fast and what did we do we kept it in the house for a couple days that's what we do with sick animals sometimes and it was doing fine we ended up re-putting it in with the um the you know the mama bunny because we weren't sure if she you know she she seemed kind of lonely and then Somehow, the kitten, we believe, got pushed its way into the cage and got the same bunny in its mouth. And it was just crazy, twice. And I don't know, I guess we could have tightened the wires even tighter than what they are now, but it was just like... I, we could not believe it and she still made it after that which was shocking but we ended up losing her because well these were the last two brownie and that one's name was strudel they were naming them like you know all these treats like we had a cupcake and and so um we thought um you know she was gonna make it and she was gonna be like the prized you know dough because she was a girl but we ended up losing her a little while later after we had brought, we brought her in and Brownie into the house to see if they can make it after we start losing some of the siblings to coccidiosis and she never made it. And that was pretty sad, but we still have Bunny, I mean Bunny, we still have Brownie, so that's cool. Um, we've had a really quite a mix of colors of the rabbits, which has been really fun. Um, our Mel, um, our buck is like a white color, mainly white, but he has some different colors like orange and black in him. And um, so he's, you know, created quite a mix of colors. We have, um, we have gray, like a kind of a, a gray colored bunny that's um, more of a natural color to the wild. It, it, if, if it got out, I, I might... The only way I would think it's not the wild bunny is it's just a lot bigger than the wild rabbits here. But, um, and then we have some whites and we have a, a black one and we have a white bunny with some gray. This one's one of the prettiest bunnies. That's why she got to be special out in this video. Um, I didn't want to bring too many out because I felt like it'd just be crazy to try to, um, tell stories and make sure they didn't, you know, jump off the table or whatnot they're I don't know they're pretty smart like she knows her her surroundings but you never know the kittens are hanging around here just waiting for some uh fast food but um yeah so I think that's all of my um bunny stories I know they weren't um like crazy scary stories I mean like the last one was to me I mean that your kitten gets your baby bunny not once but twice but um, I'm hoping that we don't have too many crazy, more crazy bunny stories because, you know, you want to raise them up and everything. The main reason we got rabbits was for fertilizer for our garden. And so that has helped a lot with the plants that we did get planted this year. And we're hoping to keep on fertilizing with our, our uh, rabbit manure. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this story time on the homestead and uh, let me know uh, if you guys have rabbits and what you, uh, what breeds they are or what colors. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, have a good one. Bye.